Well, we will see because I thought I had please request record permission from the meeting host and I'm the meeting host. So that should be fine. But who knows? We never know. Ooh, birds. Oh my gosh. I, I love know. birds so I've been much. working on just some. And I see some uh, polka dots there too. I know there. I did a foursome and use some tissue paper that I had. Oh, those are so pretty. <laughs> are they cards? They're, they're to go to in my uh, little books. Yes. You might get oh, one in your happy mail. I was just going to say, I would love to have one. <laughs> I, I do. I have a thing for polka dots. They're one of my favorite repetitive patterns. And I have a thing <laughs> for birds. Frank's just like, he's taken over feeding the birds because I can't keep up. So <laughs> our bird feeders just keep like, and I love the birds. And he said, I think we're going to have to put the birds on a diet. <laughs> the birds are, they're loving the bird feed. We had know. a meadow walk this morning. They're, oh, the sound they make. Mm -hmm. When we walk up the mountain, we get to this one spot where we hear them and then we know that they're out there. Um, and they're so beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, metal should we, be, should we be on gallery view so we can it's see? It's either way. Um, okay. You know, I like gallery view because I can see everybody. At, like I was saying in the live stream, when we get to the point where we have more, I mean, we're growing and who, who can look, I mean, who can join in is going to be a bigger group. Um, and so it starts to become all these tiny little faces. Yeah. But, um, but I can control that on this side like Bonnie does, but I haven't felt the need to. It just seems to work out. With this kind of a conversation, it's nice to keep everybody up. I agree. I think Instead of, yeah. That's why I've been doing a little bit of the live stream. So anything I need to tell you that you want to like go back and check or look at or anybody that can't come can kind of see the quick and dirty version. And yeah. then we can have whatever conversation we want here. And I think most of us wouldn't rewatch it, but the, um, you know, somebody who didn't get a chance to attend might want to rewatch. So that's more my goal, just like for you, Bonnie, is just, yeah. And so at this point, that's my plan. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is quite the, quite the journey we're all working on. <laughs> <laughs> With a capital J, oh. Far. Margie, tip yours up a little so we can see your sweet smile. Oh, seeing your okay. Yeah, or tip your top back. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to get it to stay in it. There. I have a little, well, oh, I have lots yeah. of, here we are. There we are. <laughs> now, this is the same space you've got for yoga too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got a big I see the, the cloth horse back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah this is a, it's a large, pretty large room where Gary has his station and I have my, I have the whole rest of the room. <laughs> you know, you've That's mentioned it before yeah. when you talk about you and Gary doing something down there. So uh -huh. he does his leather cool. work. Yeah, ah. he has all his leather work and tools. What does he do leather work wise? What does he do? Belts and? Oh, he makes belts. He's made saddles. He's just really? right now he's working on some wallets and does he yeah. do repair work at all, or is he just like to do the new stuff? Oh, so um, he also needs he a password. Has a small area right now. So, so I'm gonna. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. He he's only just gotten back into wanting to do some of his stuff. Yeah. So. Well, that's a lot on a back to settle yeah. a sewing machine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Kirsten needs a password. Oh, do you want it, Cindy? You want me to read it to you? Yeah, that'd be great. I so, think yeah. it's zero. 078098. That's what I thought. Kirsten shouldn't have needed one, but it's asking her for one, so we'll do that. And I will just post to the whole um, group. And on on your email you sent out to us, it had it on it. Yeah, I think a lot of people Our just text. aren't used to. Um, well, from everything I'm seeing, Zoom's going to get more and more rigid, which is good. Yeah, they're just trying to lock everything down so it's safe. Um, yeah. So I'll put it on there too, 078098. Okay. 
just in case anybody else is trying to get in. So we have, we have a few new people and we'll just kind of find out more. Some of them I know, some of them I don't. I mean, I know who knows them, but I don't know, know them personally. Well, Kirsten's joining us. Yes, yes. Ah, our Peru crew. <laughs> yes, I think that is so cool. Yeah. You know my brother and sister are from Peru, and so oh. that also just always warms my heart. But. Kirsten said she does not know when she's coming home. I think, like the rest yeah. of us, we don't know what's coming. Um, Margie, I was telling Bonnie that right, well, at the edges of the county are the signs have gone up, and I actually have a picture of it because one of them is right by our lake place. Uh, um, and so we have family coming from Missoula and on the sign it says if you're coming from another community you should plan on quarantining for 12 days I think it says and uh, so people are kind of confused about that like um, how do you do that for people that are like working outside the county that's an issue for people like my sister and her husband and their son that are coming to the lake place they're not planning on going anywhere else, like the grocery store or anywhere, but they could. And what does that mean? And so it's starting to get a little, you know. Oh, confusing. it's going to be people pretty soon are just going to say, you know what? <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> I think, you know, everybody has to hi all the way from Peru. Hey, there's Kirsten's hi. crew. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you guys all doing? We're good. I'm so glad that you're joining us today. We should have about eight of us, I think, when we're okay. all, so here's five. I know that we have three more people planning on coming and it's, um, it's not quite time yet, but. Um, I, I will need to chime oh, out. Is. I've got a meeting at 11, so I'll need to yeah, pop no out problem. a few minutes well, why before. Why don't you do an introduction, Kirsten, from you guys, because we're, it's 1030, so we'll just jump in. Okay, so I'm Kirsten. I know all of you here. This is my friend Shannon, Hi. who is the founder. Her and her husband are the founders of Go Missions. Welcome. We We're so excited to have you today. What's it called again, Kirsten? Go Missions International. Go Mission. Go. Yeah. G O. Cool. G O, just like go. Daughter, Maddie, I think is going to be joining us today. Go too. missions. Yep. Like, like that. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, welcome. Well, I, as I was just saying, um, so this group has been. It, it actually got started right here at my table in my dining room when. Bonnie was going to be gone for a trip and we were all working on our, our yoga journey for the, for the month. Um, and I think you were still here at that point, Kirsten, um, or you were very, you know, like maybe you had just, yeah, you were just getting like, ready to leave. Yeah. And so um, we had a couple of get togethers and it just, it grew on me and I think it grew on some other people of how to take what we were doing in the studio or home practice and then do more with it outside of that. And the, the more is different for everyone. So um, I also, yoga journaling as, you know, like a, a tag is out there, but there's just not a lot uh, um, that's organized. And so as I was already on my blog doing visual journaling, I thought, we'll just join in. Um, so for some people, it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a, um, a way to expand their practice in terms of taking notes and gathering information, which I think will really help the practitioners <laughs> um, because then we'll be more informed and we'll, want, we'll ask the right questions and we'll get more information. And then just personally, I have found that when even a year ago, oh, there's Bonnie Mueller, hi. Um, Bonnie, even hi. A year ago when um, I went with um, Bonnie Kaiser and um, a friend of hers, Michelle and Connie Bull and I went to Idaho for a, uh, a workshop. We were all taking notes and I just gained so much from that. And I had never really done that in the same way before. And I started growing my practice in that direction little bits here and there. Then as I said, when Bonnie was gone and she was having us do that um, yoga journey, we all kind of gathered together and started doing it and interacting about it and talking about it. And like Margie brought things to copy off and put in. And next thing you know, it started to grow. And I loved the feeling. 
And I think that people that were participating loved the feeling. And we even had a couple people come that, that typically didn't come to our yoga practice or didn't even really do yoga. And they loved it. And so I started thinking, well, if you do meditation, that it's there. If you practice any kind of mindfulness, you can participate in something. Hi, Karen. Um, and Hi. so I started the yoga journaling group to get all of us locally more engaged if we wanted to be. It's obviously by choice. And then as that grew, I knew there would be other people I knew that did yoga that might be interested or some of you might know. And it really is to add to the practice. It has nothing to do with us getting on our mats in, in the group. It has to do with us bringing how we're practicing yoga in and sharing it with everyone else. And as I said in the live stream, or for those of you that are new, it might be that what you're sharing is a quote or a poem, poem or a story. It might be that you're sharing what you're doing in your yoga practice. Um, I'll talk after you guys talk a little bit later about um, how I'm doing what I'm doing in the practice with Bonnie and processing it in my own way. And I'm hoping some of you will do the same thing. And it's all different. My profession is visual art. And so that's where I come to it. Um, some people's hobbies or, um, or passion is very visual, very artistic, et cetera. So they come at it that way. Some people are very coming at it from a practitioner and instructor's direction or a teacher's direction. Some people are to share and do therapy, which I know might be some way that you might use it, Kirsten, um, in terms of like missionary work or therapy work and massage. I taught at a school once that did art therapy and we did a lot of yoga therapy with that. So I see it as a way to either personally expand your own experience with yoga um, and what it brings to you, or to share it in your profession, depending on what you're doing, or with your friends and family. Um, so there's just a lot of ways I think this can be valuable. And, uh, and you each get to choose. So if you just want to come every week and listen and talk and get some information and make some notes, fantastic. If you want to expand what you're doing, that's fantastic too. And I think we'll bring something to our own yoga practitioners by what we're doing. I think we'll be more open to grace. We'll be more um, ready to learn and to take in what they're telling us and be like, yes. And so I hope that this brings something like that for Bonnie or anybody else that's using this in that way. So in that vein, um, welcome to new people. And welcome to people that don't always get to come. And so I'd like to ask Bonnie Kaiser first, because I know she has to leave in a minute. Um, tell us <laughs> Wait a minute, but if what, you, what you would love to see or what you are already seeing or what you would like to see in the future from either this group or from what we can offer yoga journaling. What I appreciate is oftentimes I'll come up with an idea and a theme and bring it to class and try and weave it in. And we're taught as uh, in Anasara yoga teaching, we're taught that when we do a movement that's physical, that has an emotional thought behind it, mm -hmm. when the two come together, it's, it's an experience instead of just something we do. Right. And so it deepens in our, in the words of samskara, the trench, which is our habits or what we do. It deepens that it's like, one of the best ways is when old record player, old records had the grooves in them. Right. And mm -hmm. so by blending in stories and themes and emotions and experiences into our physicalness, basically, it's like we're embedding it. And what I'm, and then that makes it easier to recall when we need that exactly. thought again or that tool. Right. What I love seeing that you guys are doing is some of the things that I, known and felt that some teacher somewhere along the way has given me you guys are embedding in your practice on and off the mat and that to me is what this practice is really all about yeah that's how I see it so to me it's it's super exciting to watch you guys take just this nugget and then explode it in your own world mm -hmm. kind of like raising teenagers <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, you hope they go and 
do what they do instead of just what you do. You know, it's not about, so I think of teaching as we teach everything we've got and then hope that they take that and go somewhere else, which is what it's, what I'm understanding you guys are doing. Yes, I would say that's exactly, <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? Well, I know. And I know, um, so I know Margie and Bonnie and Karen have had that experience already in different ways. So you want to speak to what Bonnie just said? I will. I remember the time when I brought up uh, what were the principles of yoga and started a whole. <laughs> I love this story. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm on vacation. I don't even remember where. I was in Hawaii. I'm on vacation. Oh, help! I'm in too deep. <laughs> it really was. It came out really awesome, and I think it was you and and Margie that really made it um, special. It but was. I, it was I, what I, we call I in teaching a, a teachable moment or a, a learning. Um, you know, you're just like jumping off the deep end and you're hoping everybody doesn't drown. Well, they all swim. <laughs> I love that, Bonnie. Marjorie, Karen. Yes. What do you have to say to what Bonnie said? So Bonnie's saying basically, we're supporting her practice by doing what we're doing today. And so how is it supporting her or you or what do you see the value? Well, I remember when I first started doing yoga, the physical yoga, it had nothing to do with my mind. It had all to do with my body. And this so was the year, pre -Bonnie. this was pre Bonnie. <laughs> and then I, of course I started with Bonnie, who is the guru hero <laughs> of the world. And if, if I could take a little tape recorder and record every I thing know. she says in class and then I could write it in my journal um I, I would have pages and pages but now mm -hmm. since we're doing this at home I quickly write it on a piece of paper <laughs> yes and, but I find I find that the physical things I couldn't do when I first started with Bonnie I can do now like just sit cross-legged i couldn't do that before so all this is obviously doing something to me and then that makes my mind start thinking oh wow this is all working physically and mentally and so after each yoga class these things keep running through my head and if i remember i write them all down mm -hmm. um, I, um, I have this quote from Helen Keller that I've always loved. It says, the best and most beautiful things in life cannot be seen, but must be touched with the heart. So that kind of encompasses my physical, mental outlook on things. That's beautiful. You know, so I just, and, and another thing kind of off topic is I'm having a really hard time finding time to write in my journals and cut and paste and art. And I did make my cover kind of pretty. Yes. <laughs> but so let me speak to that really quickly um, and then yeah, go back to that, Karen, because um, one thing I would suggest, and I think I mentioned it before you got on is why I was gonna say that. Some people like to write in the morning. Some people like to write in the evening. Some people like to pop in all day long. And when I say write, it could be make lists or print off things or give, give time to this. So I would say two things. One, think about if you're a morning person, an evening person, et cetera, when do I want to do this? When do I feel like it's the best time for me? And then secondly, once you know that, schedule. Schedule 15 minutes is all you need. And if you schedule it and you just say at such and such a time, it's like coming to this. It was scheduled. Yeah. You'll do yeah. it. So what I find is I do work things for my blog and so on at certain times and then personal art at a different time. So I schedule those. Um, but a lot of people write about what happened yesterday in the morning of the next day, if you want, it doesn't have to be in that moment or make a list of some things, or I've even gone back and watched Bonnie's class that we're participating in. And I've taken notes about what she's saying. Oh, oh yeah. no. <laughs> no, it's awesome. I it is. And it's because I can then 
remember what my body was going through? I can even see it there, which sometimes I'm like, oh gosh. But anyway, that's <laughs> Um, you're awesome and then don't and go uh, there no we're not going there um and so i listen to what she talked about and then i can put that down where i'm taking notes or, or whatever so uh, those are some suggestions i make so go ahead back to that karen those are some just off, off. that yeah yeah those are um i've kind of i've tried to distance myself from watching the news a lot yeah no. you know, i'll probably need only a minute of that yeah, and my husband is on it constantly. God, it's twenty four. It's not. It's not healthy. So yeah. when he's watching, when we come in at night and after dinner, and he's watching it, that's when I've started to come downstairs and yeah. fiddle with that for a little bit. But you, you could even so that you don't have that piece where it feels like you're isolating from each other. Put some headphones on. My mom does that, that in the room. Let him do his thing and you can set and yeah. write, but then he doesn't feel like you're walking out on him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. You're together all day, maybe it's okay. Yeah, right. maybe it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> Bonnie and I have our husbands going off to work, but yeah. if he's not in that situation, then yeah, I think oh, yeah. that's great this advice, Mark. Hard. Do you know, do you know that in my mm -hmm. almost 70, well, 69 years of life, I have never loaded the dishwasher properly? Oh. <laughs> That's worth, That's worth journaling about. That's worth journaling about. It might be. Because you're all of a sudden you're together all this time and you go, oh, really? <laughs> I know. Retirement scares me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have no idea. That's I watched I a video on Facebook and it was about a lady who's been married for 31 years and she goes on about her husband and she says, I really do want a man in my life, just not in my house. He doesn't know after 31 years where the spoons are. He doesn't know all these things. He wants to watch this thing for seven series. I don't even want to see it. I'm in the closet and I don't think you'll find me here because he can't find the spoons. And he has a song going on, riding a horse with no name in the desert. Well, why would you have a horse with no name? <laughs> That's adorable. It just cracked me up. I don't know who that is, if you know who it is, say, but Jen Hatmaker does um, a live Instagram TV on, um, on Instagram, um, Jen Hatmaker, and she is so funny. She's an artistic person. You guys will all love her. And she talks the other day about her husband type clicking so loud on his computer that she thought he was going to yeah. break it. And she <laughs> might be the one. She is so funny. And they've probably been married nearly that long. Yeah, it might be it. Might have been. Might be Jen. She is really yeah. funny. We'll just and she's got a great yep. creative business. So Jen Hatmaker, you might want to check her out. She's yeah. Worth, she's worth that's listening. Funny. Thank you, Karen, for yeah. your comments. That was sure. that's oh. fun. And <laughs> so I feel like because when really. I started yoga it was for the physical part. And yeah. more and more as I my body got better, it was my a whole spiritual yep. and and uh, emotional yes part and i needed to take better care of my body well doesn't that go hand in hand if yeah. you if you start to take care of your body then you start to have good thoughts and positive hopefully hopefully it works that way but Much i would said, Karen, <laughs> i don't think you can help it it just happens. I think you feel better. Kirsten? It feels better. I can You're... see Kirsten's like, I want to talk about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tell us. Kirsten, get back and take care of me. Uh, Kirsten, tell us. <laughs> to that, Kirsten. If, if your body is hurting someplace, sometimes that means you have emotions stuck. Like and hip? we have to, like your hips. Mm -hmm. I know being here and even before we were quarantined, um, I sat and was in my prayer time. Um, I just asked God, why does my hip hurt? And a few minutes later, he's like, you're not trusting me to my ability. Right. You're wanting to put your own thing. So here I am trusting him completely with everything now because I can't, yeah, we're quarantined. I can't do anything. Um, but I've had some, even some patients, some clients come to me, why do I have this pain? 
So we talk about when the pain started and sometimes they'll cry and be like, I didn't know that what happened back there could cause this problem now. Amazing. Um, and then that goes in with your spirituality and mm -hmm. all of those, you're not just a physical being, an emotional being and a spiritual being too. Oh, there. And all of There's them have to be connected at the same time and this with the same amount of force, right. not force, but structure. And that's not the right word either. And well, but I for you be yeah for your body to be or for you to be a whole complete um healthy person what i put down was just spiritual plus emotional plus physical equals well-being so what i was talking about on class on wednesday was that it's not always body mind spirit all even sometimes we have to tap a little more into the physical right. and the emotional takes a little bit of a back seat and then 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 another one comes up and there's times and it reminds me of the song and it, i think it comes from a passage there's a season for everything and for yeah. everything there's a season that and that's similar to that that we're this multifaceted being that sometimes we're heavy into study and heavy into prayer or meditation and other things take a back seat. Mm -hmm. So that's what the whole, not, it's not 50-50. No. Thank you. And from Kirsten's job and Bonnie's job, and sometimes Bonnie Mueller's job, is really to take what's happening with our physical, but ask the questions. How many times? All I've heard all of you do it. Where do you need help today? Where are you hurting? How is your back? What? And you're not just asking because you care about us. You're actually asking to inform your job to give us what we need. And, and in a way, I feel like that's what I'm doing is I'm asking what do you all need to make this work? And it's not the same for each person, um, but it's, it, you all bring this. I'm just sort of the vessel. <laughs> I'm like, here we go. And then you all bring this. And it's impossible not to have it be valuable because you all bring what you bring and put it out there. We all take what we need and then we walk away, hopefully better, happier, healthier human beings. Margie, I know you've got to be dying to talk. <laughs> I wanted to welcome I Tony. To hear from her. Um, um, Tony, because she's having audio difficulty, I think I'm hoping she's hearing all of us as she's getting her uh, um, audio video. But Margie, talk to what we've been talking about. <laughs> well, back to the day that Bonnie Mueller was talking about when the light bulb came on. <laughs> That's so, a good way to put it. Like, you bulb. know, we were just there and then she asked this question and we started examining what we hear or heard from Bonnie every time we went to the studio, every time we're in a pose, every time we're this or that, it just all came together yes. in that moment that well, that's what Bonnie's been saying all along. <laughs> <laughs> Five bodies long. <laughs> you know, just just all the the things that we had been soaking in. Mm. It just kind of like, Poof, yeah. This is what we've been given, right? And you know, we just, I I think it's something that we all needed because yes, we just I all agree. jumped in there and mm. we just poured our heart out, our spirits out onto paper or onto our thoughts or whatever we had to put it mm -hmm. to say this is what we've been doing all along but it's like the light has come come on about it the, i've got and then i've got to check out one of the things i'm seeing as a bonus from this is that you all that are taking the time to write down it's proving to yourselves that you know more than you thought you did yes Good you're oh, yeah. more skilled and more deep and have depth in your practice mm -hmm. than you think you do mm -hmm. and that is a that's a huge bonus to have that self-confidence to go hey I, I do i do have this i am this is worth my time mm -hmm. and so by journaling it you're just like making it solid 
-hmm. And that's what I see in all of you guys when you bring that and when you even have been in our, even on our zooming class mm -hmm. you see that you're you're not you got going oh maybe you know you get it you got it and you know it and you're trusting it and that yeah. education and learning process for me has always been valuable and every time i see another teacher teaching i just want to be like yes it feels so good to learn and i think <laughs> we all feel that way and we none of us knew we were going to be in the situation we're in now when we started this process in January, look how much further ahead we are that we had this ability because I think when you started doing the classes, Bonnie, online, we were all like, yeah, give it to us, bring it on. We <laughs> want to <laughs> and, and Well, I somebody asked, Somebody asked me how this was going and I said, I honestly feel like I'm not really teaching right now. I'm kind of banking on or making withdrawals on the deposits that you guys, we've all made together to your practices in the past. Mm -hmm. So that when I say feet parallel, thighs back or long spine or breathe, you, you already got it. And I'm just tapping into something that you already know. Other teachers are saying the same thing. High school teachers are saying the same. My son, who's a teacher, is saying the same exact thing you just said, almost word for word. Yeah, this isn't, this is more of a time of, just reiterating and re, re fortifying ourselves mm -hmm. and realizing that we'll get through this. Mm -hmm. We, and these are the things we've got that'll get us through it, mm -hmm. you know, so. But you're an awesome leader, Bonnie. I oh, yes, you are. are. Uh, I w has, Shannon's been in the classes too, hasn't she? I've seen you, yeah, I've seen you on the mat. <laughs> So I do have to check out here in one moment, but Shannon, are you enjoying, I mean, because all of these guys, I've had my hands on them before. <laughs> or my eyes. <laughs> How are you doing? It's been a real blessing. Thank you for letting us share in this time. You know, we've got eight people here, and um, I'm a new instructor, and I'll tell you what, I was just like, I really need somebody to instruct me. It's been... Um, because we started in January with a group of people in our house and we haven't had any um, downtime, no? And so, so all, since January, I've been teaching three, three days a week and, um, you know, all of what you do, I really appreciate because you come up with, you know, what you're, you're not just, um, we're not just exercising, you know, we're, we're trying to yes. um, deal with things that are inside of us, right? And so I think like you do that for other people and it's so, so nice and thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your class to have someone do that for me. So yes. in this time where we have a house full that we weren't expecting, <laughs> and, uh, you know, which is just the way it is. Like I was really ready for a break and I feel like the Lord just said, um, not yet. <laughs> it's a break, so but it's, it's a, a different. It's, <laughs> yeah, so it's a real thank you. It's been a real blessing. I appreciate you letting us be a part of it. Oh, and, um, absolutely. Yeah. I think for the whole group of us, you know, we have to stay physically active and busy and also healthy. So I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so well, much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do have to sign out. I'm on to my next call. Bonnie. So Thanks for thank you. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, Margie. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> I'll wave at you across the hill over there. Okay. You and Karen. <laughs> yeah, some, of us, some of us aren't physically that far apart. Thanks. Bonnie. I know. <laughs> if I let my horse out, he would be in their yard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, ladies. Have a wonderful time. You too, Bonnie. Bye. Thanks, Bonnie. Bye. Bye. I know Tony's having trouble getting in and it might just be her internet stuff, but Margie, you had something else to say, I think. <clears throat> I, no. Okay. I don't think so. Well, um, I, go ahead. I, this, I, don't, I was looking through my, one of my catalogs. My daughter does doTERRA. Bonnie, you do doTERRA. I, and I, I bought it. It's great stuff. Got, this page says daily wellness lifestyle habits. And mm. look at the picture. Yes. That's awesome. That. Look at the picture. Yeah. That is awesome. Daily oh. lifestyle. Habits. Oh. And there we are. <laughs> so, it kind of, you know, makes the circle complete. Well, that's so the thing is it is a circle um, and it never stops. And all of us I sitting here know that. And some people yeah. don't. And so the more we can bring people into the understanding that no matter how they 
manage their spirituality, their emotional wellness, their physical yoga and the process of all of these things is a great way of at any age. Mm -hmm. Some of you are considerably younger. Some of you are, you know, considerably old, more mature. <laughs> you can say it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I admire. I mean, I think about all the things I learned from my mom every day. Um, she's older than Bonnie Mueller by quite a bit. And she brings things to me every day that are valuable to me. Um, Bonnie Mueller, every time she's taught a class, every time we've talked, I gain that. And so I value that greatly. And I think everyone sitting here does. Yes. We don't, we're, we're not in this alone. Even when it's not sheltering in place, we're in this together, the whole world. <laughs> That's the main thing that yoga has done for me. I'll tell you, I, I, I've been five years as a caretaker. It's Keep going, yeah. isolating. It's not easy. No. Without yoga, I would not have been able to survive. And it's awesome. Yes. Because that's self-care. <clears throat> and self-care yeah. is super important. It's something I'm going to talk about and support in what I'm doing online. Um, I see all of the things we're talking about doing as self-care. You know, when Shannon was talking about what she's doing, no matter how much we're giving, um, Bonnie just texted me um, and just basically said thank you when she hears our voices. It gives um, life to what she's trying to do. Self-care is about taking care of ourselves so we can take care of others. And you've learned that, Bonnie Mueller, and you practice that every day. If you didn't do that for yourself, you wouldn't be able to be a caretaker. And that person loses out, you lose out. Um, that's how the world connects is to be there for other people. And, you know, if you're being, doing missionary work, you know that it's, you're doing it for reasons that are outside of yourself, obviously. And that's important. I mean, that's important work. However we do it, um, my teaching experience for a long time is what, why I reached out about this kind of stuff, because I know how important it is, not for myself, but because I have something I can offer I offer it not for myself, but because I, I naturally get something back, but I'm hoping all of you get something out of it. Yeah. You know, they often say the caregiver is, the, it's worse on the caregiver than the patient. And the mm -hmm. caregiver is totally is, fucking happy. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, yeah. She has to take care of herself first. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. That's okay. It's okay. But yeah, they have to take care of their self first, no matter what. No matter who we are. New moms. New moms have to do oh, that. New mom. Yeah. You know, um, or like your daughter has a daughter that has some issues yeah. right that she's dealing with. Your daughter has to take care of herself so she can help her daughter take care of herself. And if, and as women, gosh, this didn't used to be talked about self care and taking yep. care of ourselves and, making sure we have what we need because we didn't even ask for what we needed. And now we know it's, it's okay to ask and it's okay to support. And it's okay to put ourselves first sometimes so that we can live our life in a way that makes it possible to be there for other people. Right, right. It's hard sometimes to do though. It's you really know? hard to do. Yeah. Then you, and then sometimes you feel guilty or, or yes. You know, so it's hard to let that stuff go very hard. So Cindy, yes. I want, one of the things that I was most interested in today's meeting was some ideas from yourself at how you take what you hear or what your, your notes that you've jotted down mm -hmm. and you take it to your journal. Mm -hmm. So here, here's a couple of things that I do and I have that on my list. And I'm really glad you asked. So for instance, today's notes, I always have a blank page somewhere where I can scribble whatever is coming up on the group. So like the Helen Keller quote, quote, I didn't try to write it down. I know that I'll go back and look for it later. Um, light bulb, et cetera. So I'll make just quick and dirty notes. I sometimes do that during yoga and I know some of you have done that too. Um, <clears throat> so that I know what I wanna go back and do more with. <clears throat> it's quick, it's easy. And I write the thing down, kind of like taking notes in a class. Uh -huh. So that's okay. one thing I do. 
Um, and I highly recommend that anytime. I even do that sometimes when I'm just in a conversation with a friend. Like if Margie calls me, sometimes I'll just find myself, oh, there was an idea. I don't want to lose it. I'll put it down. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I'll talk into my phone about something you guys will see while we're doing this. I have my iPad up right now. So I'm making sure if anybody needs anything, I'm, I'm answering right now, or I can make a note or I can pull up something. Um, I have my, always have my phone available too, so I can do the same thing. And I will um, sometimes look up a link while I'm doing it. And I'm pretty good at managing more than one thing at once, but that's something I do. Then I'm very visual. So what I'll do is like, this is the half moon page that I played with. Oh, okay. Um, Wow. So I had this little strip from something else that I put in there and then I wrote something and then I started making notes here and there. And I don't worry if it's messy or perfect or the right color combination or whatever. I'm really visual. So that's just, that grows and happens the way that it happens. Mm -hmm. um, and I do that kind of thing a lot where I start with the visual and then I'll take other information and put it in there. And I might play on that for off and on for a week. I also yeah. mentioned going back and watching what Bonnie puts together. She puts together a lovely version of what we've done where she adds music. That is time consuming. And it's also, she'll put in like little um, visuals of um, what we did. Like there was an Arda Shavasana um, uh, graphic that she put in. And so I saved, I screenshot that and saved it to put in later. Um, another thing I do when we do poses that I want to remember, let me find that. I have a poses page that I love to work on that's just very simple. And so it has um, the name of the pose and just a very simple little version of what it looks like. You can okay. get those in Yoga Journal, you can look them up online, or most books will have some version of that. Okay. And I think that's really, and I keep that as a separate page so I can refer to it. And then on the, usually on the attached page, I'll make some notes of what I'm feeling. So I quite often do one page of notes or research or technical things, and then a, an, a side page of my feelings. And so I kind of split the spiritual, emotional from the physical because my mind works that way. But sometimes then I'll go in and play with visuals in there later. Okay. And then, um, when I'm combining both, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put, I'll make a list, then I'll put in something visual, and then I'll write on the other page my inspiration. Okay. And so like on this first page with the big flower, um, it says yoga journaling, and then a place to track progress, a place to grow, a place to research, a place to share, a place to love, and just a practice by itself. Yeah. And then I'll list words that are inspiring, and then I'll write. Okay. So oh. for, for me, the process is, yeah. So for me, the process in a simpler way is take in information however you take it in. Everyone's different. Jot down some notes. And then whatever parts of that are inspiring, do something with that. So experience it first, you go to yoga or you meditate. Then make some notes about what you want to follow up on. The pose, the theme, um, what else you wanna do with it, questions. Mm -hmm. And then do something creative with that. And it might be, some people might write a song or some people might um, um, write a story. Some people, I tend to get these kind of ideas about visually yeah. what it looks like, colors and that kind of thing. Um, I know Bonnie Mueller makes, then she'll go find some research stuff, print it off, put it in her folder so she can refer to it as an instructor later. Um, yeah. Kirsten might think about where in my body am I struggling when we do half moon what did I need to know that would help some of the people I'm doing massage with, or I'm helping through a difficult, um, um, you know, so something therapeutic, she's going to probably automatically go there. Whereas for me, I go to the creative inspirational place and all of that is valuable in my opinion. Does that help Margie? Yeah. 
And I was just going to show a picture of my Sing page. page. Oh, so, wow. from so I'll, do the pose. Uh -huh. I'll do the pose and then not a Raja, and uh -huh. then I'll write about it. And I actually described how I get into my pose. Because that's going to be different for you than someone yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're going to have to you know, write a book. Some, it does take up a lot of space with these uh, pictures, but I find that in writing about Nataraja, is that how you say it? I found a, a lot of things that relate to us. And then the fearlessness of yes, doing the pose. I love the half, that. The half moon is one of the hardest. Bonnie Mueller knows that. It's one of the hardest for me. So it has been this week, I've just been flooding yeah. my mind with mm -hmm. why I can't concentrate and get into half moon. It's hard. When yeah. Bonnie Kaiser asked me if I would demo, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so part of it I, is abs and pushing through your heel. And that, yeah, that, uh, that standing leg where you talk about pulling up into. Boy, mm -hmm. that's so important. Bonnie, could yep. you speak to that? Because every time you've reminded us of that, I can, I see even just sitting here, I can do it sitting and look how it just, it, yeah, talk about it. You have to pull into that hip because if you, if you suck down, you're just, it's just not going to work. It's so, you so have to crazy. Lift up off the standing leg, mm -hmm. push through the heel of the leg that's up. Mm -hmm. And abs are working like crazy. Mm -hmm. And they're in there. I, yeah. I'm not a thin person anymore. <laughs> they're in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they're working. Yeah. Yeah, you do awesome, Cindy. Don't worry Thank about you. it. <laughs> well, I also, speaking to the challenge of being told you're going to do something that maybe you're thinking, mm, okay, can I do that? I know. Uh, she told me to do... Um, the pigeon the other day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hate this damn book. I don't do it. <laughs> but you know, if we weren't challenged by things, no matter yeah. what they are, we would just be lumps on a log somewhere. And and especially as we get older, it's easier to do that. Just be like, oh, it's fine. It's okay. I don't need to. Nobody needs to. You know, nobody's gonna yeah. judge me. Whatever. And you should do it for yourself. And and it being challenged is good for us welcoming a challenge it's not something we want to say no to that we're like i don't want to be involved in that that's also self-care saying no but being able to say yes to something where you think um it's challenging it's i'm in a safe place it's okay if i fall out of the pose mm -hmm. nothing bad is going to happen i'm just human and i i've been asked by someone who cares and loves me and is going to try to take me through it in the most healthy way one time mm -hmm. Bonnie told me that she will not ask anybody to do a pose that she doesn't think they're capable of. Oh, I think so. Yes. And I don't think she said that for a while, but it's really true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and it's I don't okay do... not to be perfect. Yeah. And no, and <laughs> I don't ask anybody that can't do it either. Mm -hmm. I think um, yoga instructors are some of the most caring, loving people. And they only want the best for each of us. And they only want us, they, but they want to challenge us because that's part of the practice. Well, Otherwise, well, we just stay the same every day and there's no fun in that. Mm -mm. I remember. I miss our practice together when we're breathing together. <laughs> when, yeah. when we go into the downward pose and then we're up into reaching. I mean, I just miss that so much. Mm -hmm. um, just but this is a good lesson. Go ahead, Kirsten. I was talking the other day about, or somebody said, Bonnie mutes everybody. And I said, yeah, because if not, then we're all talking and laughing. And <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss that too. <laughs> well, even on here, you can tell there's a lag. And there's, if we talk over each other, pretty soon it's just a din. And when she records it and then tries to put it out there, it's chaos. <laughs> Because this, we're all we're all looking and engaged, and so we know who else is talking, 
and yeah. I can look at you and see who else had an, you know, need to talk. But Bonnie can't do that because she's in the middle of teaching. So, and we're all like back there doing our things. It would be chaos, I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, Kirsten. Very good. Um, yeah. Yeah. So and we're like, about time, but I brought this up. I was just going to say, we still have 15 Garfield, minutes. My Garfield thing. Oh, I love Garfield. I have all my little um, ones with Dennis the Menace. I used Aww. to get this. Aww. And my mom would come and we would go through this. I had to have something to keep her entertained. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking of it as a journal because you know, I agree. I really like it. Um, I, you know, he just does things that's really comforting. Yes. And, you know, I, I've struggled with the journal thing. I've told you that, Cindy, but okay. Um, I really have been doing it. And I didn't know it. Yes. <laughs> and journaling is like anything else. All of us started somewhere with yoga. All of us started somewhere with our profession. All of us started somewhere either as a mom or a caretaker or whatever. And you're not good at it when you start or you don't know who you are in that. So when I first went to yoga, I didn't know. I was coming from like step class at the women's club and I thought yoga would be a good idea. Um, Annie was like a year old and I thought I needed something to kind of some self-care. And I met Harriet and she taught me yoga and I loved it from the very first week. I've also talked to people who hated it from the beginning and they needed it mm -hmm. had to grow on them. That doesn't mean they can't be amazing at it or get something amazing out of it. It just at the beginning, it sucked. And we've all been there with stuff that was too hard or we weren't good at it or, and it just takes time. And journaling is more than just one person's way of doing it. And yeah, we all diaries or journals. Um, uh, when we research and take notes in a class, like we go attend a class and we take notes, that can become a journal because it's about that one topic and we bring it with us every day and we write in it and we have to have opinions, we have to write a paper and we don't think of it that way, but that's the same process. Yeah. So yeah. we all have experience either at school or in learning something new that you can bring to the journaling process and we have to schedule it. Just like if you have an assignment or anything else, we have to set aside some time if it's important to us. The amount of time might be, you know, it might be one day a week you do it. Some people do it that way. Some people do it every day at the same time. Some people do morning and evening, you know, check in in the morning, check in in the evening. It's different for each of us. So don't judge your journaling process. Just figure out what it is for you. Good idea. Mm -hmm. But look outside. Oh. <laughs> no, no. That's also, don't change your life to do something that you bought or you are trying to be part of. Take your life and insert it into this and say, yeah. this is my life. And I want to record some things about my life, what I'm thinking and feeling, et cetera. So I can look back at it later and be like, oh yeah, or next time we study Ardha Shandrasana, what did I go through last time? A year from now, that might be valuable. Um, or if you're gardening or taking care of your horses in early spring, what next year you can look back at it. I mean, this is not a short term thing. It's a long-term process of how do I live my life? How do I take care of myself? How do I put down into words or, or um, in a book about what's important to me? And yeah. we don't, as human beings for centuries, we've done that, but we've gotten away from it. And so yeah. my belief is connect to the things you love, connect to the things you do, get more out of your yoga experience, get more out of your life by cultivating, in my blog, it's called Cultivating a More Artistic Life. The idea is you have to work at it. You have to cultivate something. It doesn't just happen. And that's what I think yoga journaling is, is take what you already love or passionate about or learning from and, and put it down somewhere so, mm -hmm. you see that. so it creates a value that maybe we didn't have otherwise. Yesterday, I got two new babies. They're what kind? 
two colts. Oh. And they are absolutely. Karen just lost her breath. <laughs> they are total brothers. They have the same mother and same father. They are recipient babies. And it's so cool. And they're so interesting. Oh my gosh. Don't we have a field trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, field trip. We'll we need six feet apart. We yeah. Put our masks on. Yeah. You know, it, that's totally doable. And I know we're all, I mean, some of you are literally countries away, but you know, we know what we need to do to stay safe. And we know what we need to do to keep our, our mind, body, and soul from atrophying. So if, if Karen, if it, if it does something for your heart and soul to go see Bonnie's babies, yes. please come. Yes. I might show up. Yeah. Give me a call. I will. Yeah. So just anything else that you want um, from me or from anybody else in the group or from the yoga journaling page or, um, you know, anything else you want to say before we go? I really like this every, well, Monday and Tuesday, but this especially on Fridays. Good. Keeps, I'm glad. Keeps us together. We laugh. We can talk. Sometimes we get a little off subject, but I think That's it's all okay. subject. So yes, it's all interconnected. Faces and emotions and ideas. Yeah. And it's so much better than not seeing anybody for such a long, I mean, I talk to other friends and family and we text, but we don't really have, um, on, on Easter, we, we were an hour and a half with my, two daughters and their families on a Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and that was great. So it's different than talking on the phone or texting or, right. you know. So it's, I think it's really helping during all this stuff. I think so too. Yeah. Just to, you know, I see you and I see your pretty house. <laughs> and, then, and then I think, so, see, she's sitting in the dining room mm -hmm. under that pretty gold. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, it wasn't on the porch. It's an awesome house. <laughs> thank you. It is an awesome house. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you. This yes, you're welcome. My brilliant, pleasure, truly brilliant idea of yours. Good. So Karen, come yeah. on out. <laughs> I will. I'm sitting Let's here in the basement, looking out at the sunshine, thinking I should really go outside. <laughs> I'm going to go outside today. Two and just calls. keep in mind I have the life babies. that you're living, we're sharing that with each other. And that's awesome. Yeah. It's so special. And Margie, yeah. Tim talked to Gary on the road yesterday, and he thought your blueberry muffins were really, really good. They look good <laughs> online. So good job. Thank you for the recipe. You're welcome. <laughs> Convoluted as it was. Anything from Peru, ladies. Uh, oh, I was just thinking. I I spent I spent an hour outside today already. And That's there, great. I I have claimed, I have claimed a tree, um, and that, for the last couple of weeks I wasn't out there very often. Um, but I went out. I've been out there both well yesterday and today. Um, but now it's the time of day when it's going to get windy. Well, for us, it's barely, it's 30 some degrees right now. No, it's, it's 40. It's 48. It's gone 40. up a lot in the last hour. So that's a nice thing. Yeah. Not for April, but. <laughs> yeah. If you're doing something outside in the sun, it's great. What time is it where you are, Kristen? Um. It's, we're an hour different, so it's... Because yeah. they're almost uh, directly below us. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you're an hour ahead of us? Yep, we're the same yeah. as Central Time. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Margie, anything from you? Any parting words? No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You. Thank you all. I mean, this would be really boring if I was just talking by myself, like I do on a live stream, so... Um, the interaction makes my heart happy. And um, so we will do this again next week. Um, bring or invite anyone you want to the group. And, um, and, but people, even if they can't come, 
are looking at it later and reaching out to me. So it is valuable for others, even if they can't be here. So just remember that. I love you all. Thanks for joining us. And uh, we will continue to talk more about yoga journaling and what we can do to um, brighten our lives and those people around us. Okay. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. Namaste.